Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Mama's Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here um, for your continued love and support. If this is your first time um, clicking on one of my videos, I do actually have two tarot channels. I have this one here, uh, Moon Moth Goddess, and then I also just created a second YouTube tarot channel which is called Neptune's Child Tarot. So if this reading does resonate for you, um, feel free to check out the Pick a Card playlist that I do have available on this channel as well as the other channel Neptune's Child Tarot for those of you that are interested in more um, self-focused readings is what I do for the other channel there. So today's pick a card reading is actually going to be one that has been subscriber requested by I would say a good number of you, many of you um, that requested me uh, requested for me to do um, another one of these readings and we're focusing on those of you that are in third party situations. Okay. Now I realize that with third party situations, there's many different ways of a third party situation. I understand that you as the viewer could be in a third party situation in which you have your person of interest on your mind and you're dealing with that person and that person is involved with someone else or there's something right. Something there. Some of you can also be in third party situations in which you are the person who is kind of torn between two different people, right? Or some kind of situation like that. So for this reading specifically today, I am more so focused on those of you that are in the third party situation where you are dealing with someone and that person is connected to someone else that is affecting your connection with them. Okay. So from that perspective of third party, I also understand that given that, that this is a third party reading, you may actually be the third party. Okay. The person you're dealing with may be someone who is married, someone who's in a relationship or maybe even dating someone else. Okay. So just keep that in mind for, for the, to minimize confusion, we're going to be calling the other person, the third party, although technically you might be the third party. So we're just going to kind of keep it straight and I will refer to the other person um, as the third party. Okay. So third party situations, we're going to be looking at what your person of interest, what their feelings are towards you versus the third party and what, what their intentions are towards you and then the third party as well. Okay. So we do have three piles to choose from. Pile number one, you are going to be the Paulina Tarot. And that is going to be with this amethyst here for pile number one. What are your person's feelings towards you versus the third party? And also what are their intentions? Okay, so amethyst with the Paulina Tarot for pile one. Pile number two, you are going to be the Joie de Vivre Tarot, and that is going to be with this Phosphiterite, okay? <laughs> Phosphiterite um, is the name of this crystal, okay? For pile number two. Pile number three you are going to be the spirit song tarot and that is going to be with this Caribbean blue calcite. For pile number three, spirit song tarot and the Caribbean blue calcite. Okay. So third party, situation, what are your person's feelings towards you versus the third party? And then what are their intentions towards uh, each of you at this point? Okay, so just kind of like a little bit of an energy check in. So pile one with the amethyst, pile number two with the phosphiterite, and then pile number three with the Caribbean blue calcite. Timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pile One. So those of you that resonated with the Amethyst, this is going to be a reading today. And we are looking into those of you that are in third party situations. Okay, so for the purposes of this reading to minimize confusion, 
we are going to be calling the other person involved, the person who's not watching this video, um, they are going to be the third party, even though technically for some of you, you could be the third party. Okay. So we're going to start off with you. How is your person feeling towards you? And then we'll look at what they're feeling towards the third party. With the Paulina Tarot. So let's do yours first. Pile number one. How is your person feeling towards you? We have the Eight of Pentacles. How is your person feeling towards you? Pile one. We have the Knight of Cups. How is your person feeling towards you? Pile one. Okay, so we have the High Priestess. We also have the Ace of Wands. How is your person feeling towards you? Pile number one. And then we, well, we also have the two of cups. Okay, so I will say this person does feel like they have a really strong connection with you, a very strong emotional bond connection. Two of cups energy could also indicate this person feels that you have uh, maybe even a soulmate type of connection with one another. The Ace of Wands to me is like your person feeling that there is chemistry, there's attraction, there's a spark uh, between the two of you, okay, that this person does feel. The Knight of Cups to me is that this person is wanting to come forward with some type of expression of heart, feelings, emotions, could even be some type of offer. This Eight of Pentacles to me, looking at the rest of this energy is almost like this person is wanting to show you or put in some type of dedicated, solid effort into, you know, bringing this connection together if you're not in a relationship with this person already. Also with the High Priestess energy here, uh, this person could feel a very telepathic or even intuitive type of connection with you. Um, with the High Priestess, this person can, for some of you, can even be a little bit intimidated by you. Uh, I also feel like with the High Priestess energy, this person maybe is concealing or hiding, for some of you, hiding the feelings that they do have towards you, or hiding even the attraction, the chemistry that they do feel uh, towards you here as well. So, actually, let's, I want to start pulling some, a little bit of Oracle here. And then we'll kind of look at the third party energy too, but we'll do yours first. So what is your person feeling towards you, pal one? We have, wow, we have judgmental here and it says not good enough, right? So it could either be that maybe this person, especially like I said with the high priestess energy here, maybe this person does feel a little bit intimidated by coming towards you or coming forward here. Um, I don't know. Maybe for some of you, it could have even been that you've told this person, especially if you've been in this third party situation for a little while, some of you. It could be that you've kind of given this person maybe a list of like things that they need to change. Like if this person is telling you, hey, I like you or I have feelings for you or things of that nature, maybe you've told them, told them, you know, that they need to change certain patterns of behavior. Um, they need to step it up or they need to do something, right? If they want this connection with you, they would have to make some type of a, some type of a choice here, I feel like. So what are their feelings towards you, pile one? We also have mind games here, okay? I mean, it could literally be that they feel like you are playing mind games with them, okay? Or it could be that they've been playing mind games or head games with you. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling there. Let's see what else.
We have slow, okay. Slow. We also have unknown. Okay, so looking at this little, I don't even know what this is. Anyway, it's there's a bunch of hearts stuck in here, right? With a little question mark. So in some way, it's like this person maybe holding back a lot of their feelings, emotions, maybe because they, they're uncertain about the future, like what's going to happen. Maybe you have told this person, right? Especially if this person's giving you like, I don't know, mixed feelings, mixed energies, mixed signals, um, the slow energy, maybe this person feels the need to take their time. Uh, you could have told them, you know, that they've been really slow, maybe in their approach. Maybe they are slow in their approach towards you. Let's see. We also, yeah, look at that. We have trapped here. It's like this person is holding back the feelings that they have towards you. They feel like they have to suppress them. Okay. That's kind of what I'm feeling with your person here. Like they've had to hold them inside. And I've seen timing at the bottom. Okay. Um, let's go into these. Let's do one more. How are they feeling towards pile one? You know, to me, looking at this little tic-tac-toe here, maybe it's kind of like you're waiting for them to make a move for some of you. Maybe this person is being like self-sabotaging for some of you. We have meditation here and it says quiet reflection allows you to discover soul answers that you seek. Some of you could even be no contact with this person, like this person taking their time, not really telling you what their plan is because they're uncertain about what the future holds for the two of you. Or they're not speaking up with their feelings, listing all the reasons why they shouldn't do something. They're feeling they have to hold back though. Look at that, unknown and trapped. What are their feelings towards you? We have grief, okay. So maybe like if they feel like they have to suppress or they can't talk to you about their feelings or maybe if you guys are separated or, you know, the third party involvement here is creating a lot of stress or pain, disappointment for this person. We have rebirth here. So to me, for some of you, it could mean that this person is wanting to start over or <clears throat> uh, Maybe even releasing, letting go of the past. We have the first petal here. And it says, something is beginning to fade and fall apart. A flower cannot bloom again, right? So maybe even some of you, it could have been that this person feels that maybe they've lost their chance or that the two of you are not going to be able to be together. They're uncertain, unknown, right, about uh, the future here, okay? So what I want to do now <clears throat> I want to look at what, uh, let's go ahead and do, we've done your feel, their feelings towards you. Let's look at what their intentions are towards you. <clears throat> and then we'll do the third party separate, okay? We'll clear these away and look at the third party energy all by itself too. So what? are their intentions towards you at this point. Okay, so just know because we're asking about future, things can change. Okay, energy can can uh, change over time. Okay, depending on your decisions, their decisions. So what are their intentions towards you right now, pile one? We have the Queen of Cups. What are their intentions? Two of Pentacles. What are their intentions towards you? Page of Wands. Okay, so that could be some type of message, communication. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting that this person had... I mean, you could have shut this person out. This person could have shut you out. 
And I'm saying that because we have the five of pentacles here. That is an energy of abandonment or despair or loss. This person could feel a, a feeling of void or emptiness, right? Uh, while not having you. Um, I am feeling this person's intentions are to communicate with you. So if you haven't received communication coming from this person, this person, I feel like uh, with the Queen of Cups, it's giving me this kind of like this indication of this person kind of choosing to take action from a place of their heart. Okay. The Two of Pentacles to me is like this person, their intention is to make a choice here, make a decision. The Two of Pentacles is about weighing our options, right? Trying to keep things in balance here. So I feel like with the Page of Wands energy here, this could be messaging, communication. It could be moving forward with excitement, with passion. The Eight of Wands to me is taking some kind of action here, okay? Quick action. It could even be a message, communication this person is sending to you. And I feel like because this Five of Pentacles is here, you know, this person is feeling lost. This person is feeling this energy of despair. I feel like because they're, something's changed or shifted, I feel like between the two of you, this person feels this emptiness, this void without you, right? <clears throat> so let's clarify a little bit more. Let's see, what is this Eight of Wands energy here? Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords. This person feeling a lot of anxiety. I feel like fears surrounding messing and messaging and communication. Also around the action, right? The action they're wanting to take here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The King of Wands. Okay. So that King of Wands is about um, feeling more confident about being able to make a decision, take charge, right, of a situation. So the King of Wands is a pretty confident, strong energy. So I feel like I see your person kind of working through any type of anxieties or fears that they have about taking action or even messages and, and communication. Okay. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? We have the Six of Swords. Let's get one more. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? And we also have Strength. Okay, yeah. So to me, this is like your person finding the courage within themselves to be able to, I feel like, face these challenges. Okay, face these challenges here. Move away from any fears, insecurities, doubts, really follow their heart. Okay. Um, let's see here. What are their intentions towards pile number one? Okay. So we have cautious here, your person being cautious. We have apprehensive, afraid, a little guarded, but we also have this energy of the free spirit here, which to me is kind of like the full energy. Taking a risk, possibilities. Okay. Intentions. We have separation, distance, space, and a blockage. What are their intentions? Okay. <clears throat> so we do have dark attachment that are uh, influencing, swaying, or impacting, which is the third party, okay? So what I'm kind of getting from this, you guys, I'm just going to clear my throat for a second. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting from this is that with our Five of Pentacles under here, I feel like if you were kind of like in a place right now where you're not really talking to this person, they may kind of continue to hold on to that energy for a little bit. Okay. So I would say be patient with this person because I feel like this person is going to be working towards this level of confidence to help to move beyond the fears, the worries, the anxiety. Because right now this dark attachment to me is 
the outside influence, a third party that is swaying or impacting your connection with them. But to me, it's like this person is able to break free from that type of energy that's holding them back. We have detaching here. It says slowly parting, disconnecting, and drifting. Okay? So they may continue with that Five of Pentacles to keep themselves, I feel like, in that... Uh, in that energy for a little bit, okay? So you may kind of notice this person continuing to kind of pull away, to detach, to separate from you uh, with the Five of Pentacles because they have to go through this process here, right? With strength, where they learn how to balance out their own energies here to feel more confident with moving beyond that, right? And sometimes that takes work for us to really build up that level of confidence and within ourself to be able to move forward with something. Okay. So let's see what else, what are their intentions towards you? Look at this. We have the magnetic unexplainable pull that they cannot resist. Right. So even if they detach, even if they pull away, they still feel this energy from you that is pulling them right back in. We have observing here. Social media stalking, keeping an eye on you, obsessed with you. Okay. And then we also have escape. It says avoiding, blocking, pushing you away, and also hiding. We have the tether here. Telepathy, intuition, dreams, heart songs. Okay. So it's like, even if they are someone who, let's just say the intention right now, is to pull back a little bit so that they can really kind of, I feel like, ground themselves, their energy, come up with a plan, right, in that King of Wands energy. We have pain. Look at that. Guarded, apprehensive, putting up a wall. Like this person. Hmm intentions okay so we have settlement here agreement or a compromise okay so yeah i feel like the intention here is to be able to kind of move towards you however there is this process that the two of you guys or your person is kind of going through where they have to work through this energy okay they have to work through that because we do have a settlement here an agreement or a compromise that this person wants to create or make with you the pain, right, of being away from you because of the outside influence here of the third party could be making it difficult for them to have to make that choice or that decision, right? So they may and stay kind of like in that energy of grief as they were missing you and thinking about that. They have to make a decision here, right? Clearly. Um, but yeah, to me, this is this, this feeling, this pain of separation of still feeling so connected to you with the tether here, right? The telepathy, dreams about you, the intuitive connection that you guys might have, the telepathy. Um, I almost get like for some of you, like this person pushing you away or not talking to you, but then still watching your social media, still trying to check on you, still seeing what you're doing, feeling this pull towards you. Uh, so yeah, you guys might kind of go through this process of this person pushing you away, having, like we saw up here, having to suppress their feelings and their emotions, moving very slow, right? Um, but yeah, I feel like in that King of Wands energy, this person moving past the anxiety, right? The anxiety surrounding messages, communication, taking action here. The King of Wands, like I said, is a much more confident energy. And it may take a little bit of time, right, for this person to reach that point. But yeah, we're definitely seeing an energy of escaping, detaching, trying to pull away, uh, feeling pain because they have to. They may have to because of the outside influence here. But to me, there is this thing here with the magnetic pull and the settlement where the two of you are either, either able to come together with some type of a, a compromise for how to move forward with your connection. So to me, it is 
this person's intentions to manifest some type of communication with you. I feel like first and foremost, for you guys to really talk about things, how to progress. Um, I do want to clarify this King of Wands a little bit more. What is the King of Wands energy here? Nine of Wands. Okay, which to me is not giving up. Not giving up. Pushing through the challenges. Why is the nine, oh, I'm sorry, king? We have judgment here. Okay. So the judgment card is a, is a big decision, right? A big decision that we're making to bring about renewal. And that could be renewal for your connection. We have the seven of pentacles energy here, which is a process of evaluation, reassessment, right? Let's see what else. Why is the king of wands here? We have the Eight of Cups, and then we also have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, now I will say, I am seeing a little bit of this retreat here, okay? Especially if your person is married. Uh, the Eight of Cups to me is detachment and withdrawal away from you. Taking some time to think. If they are someone who's married, they could be kind of retreating back into that energy, right? They need some time here with the Eight of Cups. They need time to just kind of Take some time to think. We are seeing this energy here of, of disconnecting from you, detaching from you, the five of, of pentacles, which is abandonment, which is shutting you out, keeping you blocked. If you are blocked by this person already, um, or if this, this person is blocking you, they're having to suppress their feelings here. Um, with the ten of pentacles energy here, it could be that this person is wanting to pursue this committed partnership with you, but if they are someone who is married, right? they need some time to really think about what they're planning to do with that situation. That may be why they feel like the uncertainty of what is going to happen with the future, right? But Spirit is saying here, we have a settlement, an agreement, or some type of compromise, right, that this person will be making, okay, with you. So let's, I'm actually going to clear this away, and we're going to look at what they're feeling uh, towards a third party, what their intentions are towards a third party. You don't have to watch that, okay? Especially if it's too triggering for you, you can stop right here and and go about your day. But if you are interested to kind of see um, what, they're, what they're feeling towards the, the, the person and what their intentions are towards the other person, you can keep on watching. But I'm going to clear this away and then we'll get into the third party energy. Okay, so now we're going into how your person is feeling towards what we'll call the third party, even though, like I said, you technically might be the third party. Uh, let's see. How is your person feeling towards the third party? The other person involved. How are they currently feeling towards the third party? We have the lovers. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this could definitely be a marriage. Ooh, we have the tower. Mm. We have the hermit. I'm going to take it in reverse. How is your person feeling towards the third party? Ooh, okay. The world. And the Page of Cups. Okay. Five of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay. Now, I will say this. I, I feel like your person towards the third party, for some of you, like I said, the Lover's card can talk about a, um, a marriage, a partnership, relationship. So for some of you, it could be that this person is someone who is married, right? Uh, but I'm noticing we have the tower energy right next to that and the world here. So this almost makes me feel like your person may be wanting separation or even divorce with this person that they are with. They may feel the tower energy can be very chaotic, can be a lot of very turmoil, chaos, destruction. There is an energy of release with the tower, okay? Now... I feel like, 
I, I feel like this person does love, okay? They do love this person with the lover's energy here. They do love them. But I'm also feeling that with the Page of Cups energy here, it could be that they are wanting to express to this person that maybe they feel like this relationship is no longer serving, okay, with the Tower and the World. Then maybe they feel like they're, this connection has like in some way run its course because we have the Five of Pentacles and look at that with the Emperor right underneath that. Yeah, this, this makes me feel Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is like continuing on underneath here. It just makes me feel like your person feels like they are having difficulty expressing their feelings towards this person, that maybe they want this relationship over. And with the Hermit energy in reverse, this person may have taken a lot of time in solitude uh, to reflect upon that. The Five of Pentacles is a feeling of emptiness or void that your person may feel like so basically they may be feeling like they're not getting what they need or what they want really from this relationship so they may feel like things are over or i want this to be done i want it to be over we have the emperor here which is an energy of strategy of planning the emperor is also an energy of a husband a father so some of you it could be that this person is married and mm, Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords underneath that, which is an energy of deception. Okay, trickery, sneaking around, getting away with something, trying to come up with a plan, I feel like, as well, right? Because if this person is someone who's married, of course, there's cheating, right? Uh, they may be feeling even like if they are a husband or a spouse, you know, they're, they're feeling like they're not getting what they need what they want. They're not happy, right? So with the three of wands energy here, it's like this person is just kind of like waiting, waiting, their heart longing for something. We have justice here. And so with the justice card, it's like this person is trying to make the best decision. Justice can also talk about legal stuff like marriages, divorces, contracts, you know, that we have with another person. Justice is also karma. Okay, so they may be kind of weighing their options here. If they are someone who does believe in karma, then they may also be thinking like, what are they going to be like the negative consequences, right, of these actions that I've taken with the cheating, with the lies, with deception, with betrayal, or, you know, things of that nature. So I feel like with the hermit, your person has been, like I said, taking that time to really reflect within trying to find answers within themselves about what it is that they really want or even should do. Um, like this person almost feels like they cannot trust themselves with this choice or this decision. Um, or they could be needing to really reflect within themselves and listen to what their heart is truly telling them in this situation, which is kind of what I'm seeing here. So let's go into the Oracle. What are their feelings towards the third party? We have crush. Look at that. And it's like it's trapped in a bottle. You know? So maybe like with you, it's like, again, we're seeing another bottle here with the heart being in stuck inside of it. Okay. Like they're having to keep feelings bottled up, right? We have a gift here. How are they feeling towards the third party? Wow, look at that. <laughs> what was I saying, right? Karma. The gift of karma. That's probably what they're worried about. What karma? Consequences. Negative consequences are going to impact them. Right? Here's the gift that they're giving, right? Here's the gift they're giving. By the way, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. You know, telling this person that. So that to me with that page of cups is where your person is struggling. Telling this person. We have metamorphosis here, which is maybe many changes that their connection has taken. Um, your person's feelings changing towards them. We have, wow, we have ghosted here. Ghosted here. To me, that is that. I'm seeing there's a telephone here. So 
And those of you that are younger, this is what a real telephone used to look like, or a tele, you know? Those of you that are younger that have only known cell phones, this is what our phones used to look like back in the day. Or you either had the little rotary, rotary dial um, to call someone. Cool, right? <laughs> it's an ancient artifact. Okay, but yeah, to me this is like, maybe that this person hasn't really been able to talk to uh, this person about their feelings, their emotions. We also have pieces here. Pieces. This almost makes me feel like there's like fragmentation or feeling broken in some way. You know, like maybe this person's feelings have changed towards this third party. And to me, like I said, it's like this gift, like this something that they're wanting to tell this person, but thinking about the karma, right? Having to weigh their options here, having to make a decision or a choice. Again, look at the bottom. We had the same thing for you. Not good enough. Judgmental, right? Almost like this person in a way self-sabotaging. What are the feelings towards the third party? privacy okay so they may be kind of keeping things or your person may be keeping things very private maybe not letting you know what's happening here right they could be very private with this person maybe not really allowing this person to know what's going on in their heart or their mind not opening up to this third party well oh wow look at that no love here it says this love is off limits. Trust the sign. Don't go there. Right? So it could have even been that they love the person, but maybe they're not in love with them anymore. Right? Wow. We've got baggage. Right? They may be literally looking at the third party as baggage, or they may be kind of feeling that I don't know. We have ego here. We have childhood, past relationships. Uh, if the person that you're dealing with also has children involved, right, that can also be something that is creating challenges. Or they can even be maybe staying for reasons with this person, you know, you know, finances together, children together, uh, expenses. Let's see, whatever that, you know. You may kind of already know what the baggage is since this is a general reading. What are their feelings towards the third party? We have illusions, right? And this person could definitely have an illusion, let's just say, of feeling trapped or feeling stuck or having to bottle things up. So let's look at what your person's intentions are towards the third party. What are their intentions towards the third party? The other person involved. The Knight of Cups. What are their intentions towards the third party? The Star. What are their intentions? We've got the Five of Wands. Tensions towards the third party, the Ten of Cups, and we have the Three of Cups. It almost looks like your person is trying to work on healing things with this person, you know, because that Five of Wands is literally feeling the comparison between the two of you. The Five of Wands is conflict, challenges. You know, I feel like they're trying to make this, trying to heal it, trying to stay optimistic about things with this person, but feeling very conflicted, I feel like, right? They could be trying to bring about renewal for this relationship. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. Why is the five of wands here? The Hierophant. Okay, we have the Hierophant, which is a symbol of traditional commitment, but just because we have the Hierophant and it symbolizes marriage doesn't mean it's a happy marriage, right? It's just talking about 
you know, the traditional types of commitments that we have. Um, I feel like your person's um, maybe certain beliefs, right, that they have, culture, religion, uh, can also be something that's uh, being challenged here as well. Why is the Five of Wands here? The Nine of Swords. It's like this person feeling so much anxiety and fears, worries about future. Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. It's just, yeah, this person's feeling like a lot of burdens, a lot of heaviness, a lot of stress, being like at their, their limits, I feel like, with this connection. At their limits. Like holding on here. Why is the Three of Cups? Right? So I'm not necessarily seeing like a clear intention towards this person of moving on or letting go. Okay? I'm not seeing that here yet. So, I mean, this can always change in the future, but I'm not seeing this energy from your person about their intention of leaving this other person just yet, if, if at all. Okay? It's like this person is trying to just hold on and... I don't know. To me, this illusion here is like your person kind of caught up in an illusion that this is happiness or this is my reality. This is what I have to keep myself in, right? Let's see what's the energy surrounding this Ten of Cups. The Eight of Wands in reverse. This is delays, blockages with progress or movement or communication. Delayed communication, right? Could even be Mm, bad news with the eight of wands in reverse five of pentacles in reverse it's like this person is delaying talking or communicating i feel like about that emptiness or they the void that they feel i'm seeing the ten of swords at the bottom it's like your person is keeping themselves like mentally drained with this whole situation but i feel like delayed action when it comes to actually speaking their truth about it what are their intentions towards the third party we have only you fixated and attached, okay? We have cycles here, waiting, okay? We have making amends, plans, opportunity, second chance, right? So they're trying to bring about renewal or healing for that. We have commitment here, vows, promises, fidelity, Okay, so yeah, to me, it's like this person, very cautious about things. Look at that, apprehensive, guarded, and also afraid. It's like this person is afraid of divorce, afraid of separation, afraid of, afraid of leaving this person. So continuing to stay committed here. Okay, no clear, like I said, energy of uh, leaving, walking away here yet. Okay, we have reflection here, dark night of the soul, dark shadow, facing inner truth, and also seeing true colors. We have foresight here, right? This person looking ahead. We have terms here, working out. Look at that. Working out, begging, and negotiating with this person, the third party. Whoa. Trapped. Look at that. Stuck. Locked down. Mental prison. Feeling captive. Right? And then we have waves here with emotions coming and going. Okay? Yeah. So I don't feel like, I feel like there's much this person, your person has to say to them. They're just not doing anything about it yet. Okay? And this energy can always change, you know, in the future. But I feel like as much as, as your person may want to be with you, it, it could take some time right? If at all, because if they need to fully step into that King of Wands energy in order to make it happen, right? And they have to break through that anxiety and fears. And it doesn't even look like they're ready and prepared to kind of do that on this side, right? So of course, you have to be discerning. If this person is completely pushing you away, blocking you, you know, avoiding you, not talking to you, you have to do what's best for you, right? And that could be removing yourself out of the equation, if this person is not ready to take action over here so that you're not occurring to deal, not having somebody string you along, 
especially, or keeping yourself also stuck in the illusion that they're going to make a change, right? Unless you actually see them taking action here. But yeah, to me, this looks like this person just staying here, right? Staying here, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, trying to work things, trying to heal their marriage or their relationship or their connection, you know, that's kind of what this looks like to me. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with this phosphatorite crystal, this is going to be your reading today and we're doing third party reading. Uh, we're going to be looking at what your person's feelings are towards you, intentions towards you, and then also what their feelings and intentions are towards the third party. Okay. So I'm going to do your energy first with them. You do not have to watch the third party portion if you don't want to. Okay. Um, if, especially if it's triggering for you to hear how they feel towards the other person. Okay. So I'll let you know when we're going to switch over. So if you want to click off, just click off and not, not have to watch it or put yourself through it. If you're feeling super sensitive. Okay. So we're going to look at Norse first pile number two. How is your person feeling towards you? Okay. How are they feeling towards you? Pile number two. How is your person feeling towards you? Ace of Cups and also the Six of Swords. We have Justice in Reverse. What is going on? The World. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to put their intentions down here. What are their intentions towards you? And then we'll add in the Oracle. What are their intentions towards you? Pile 2. Ten of Swords. Okay. I kind of see where this is going. King of Wands in reverse. Remember the intentions. The Hierophant. Eight of Swords. The Moon. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. So what I'm kind of seeing happening here is that your person's feelings towards you <clears throat> are that this is a situation that is, it almost makes me feel like this person sees that it's over between the two of you guys. Okay. Because even though with the Ace of Cups energy being here, this person can have super deep feelings towards you. Super deep feelings. Um, and, you know, really wanting to nurture the relationship that you've had, you know, like wanting to be with you, but also feeling that things were imbalanced. It was an imbalanced relationship or even kind of like unfair. Unfair towards you. Unfair type of situation. Uh, you know, given the circumstances of a third party, it's cheating, right? It's infidelity or, you know, secret relationship for some of you. So yeah, to me, the Six of Swords energy is your person kind of feeling that they feel like they need to just move on from it. The world energy is about an ending, right? The completion of a cycle. And so with the Justice card being in reverse, this is what is creating that imbalance there, right? A uh, a lack of stability or dishonesty, right? Because the justice in reverse is, it could literally be about lies, betrayal, you know, deception. So it could be that your person feels like, although there were feelings or are feelings that are there, 
they have to move on from it. They have to let it go. They have to leave it behind. So the intentions down here is that your person is, is feeling the Ten of Swords is a painful ending. Okay, literally painful ending, uh, betrayal here with the Ten of Swords. And it could be that you feel betrayed in this. They may feel like they, if they're the person who is betraying, right? They just feel like it, it has to come to an end, right? There is a lot of um, restrictive energy here with the Eight of Swords. This is a lot of negative thinking, your person being trapped in their own head, their own mind, right? Maybe by their own self-limiting beliefs. Maybe they feel like they cannot break away from the third party, you know, that they just can't. So the moon energy here is the suppression of their feelings towards you, concealing, hiding, uh, uncertainty, just a lot of unknown. It's like this person doesn't have a clear intention towards you of actually committing to you or the relationship. So the king of wands energy in reverse to me is non-action. Like this person not taking action towards you, no intention of actually building a relationship with you is just kind of leaving it as it was or as it is if this person's already moved away from you then that's kind of where they're they're leaving it okay is basically saying that um of course energy can change you know in the future nothing's set in stone but looking into kind of what this person's energy is right now as far as what their intentions are it's not really much happening okay they may be continuing to just kind of keep cr or create an illusion like let's just say that you are still in contact with this person, you're still seeing them every now and then, they're keeping in that moon energy, right? That is that is creating an illusion for you, right? Especially if this person is kind of telling you, oh yeah, we're going to be together. We're going to have a relationship. Not so much with this energy here, okay? So, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of making me feel like this person is not taking any action here they're just kind of allowing it to be something that end maybe they feel like they're afraid you know this like i said the eight of swords is a very restrictive uh type of energy right so even if they have these deep feelings towards you what are they actually doing about it this is spirit saying not much basically not much okay <clears throat> Let's see. so what are their feelings towards you pile number two We have timing here. We have a karmic connection. We have tease. Okay, so yeah, they may be seeing you kind of like as that temptation even outside of the other relationship or the connection that they have you know they could be seeing that maybe the timing is wrong because i don't want to say you know that this other person is a karmic partner you could be the karmic a karmic partner for this person you know so either way with the karmic connection here it could be that There's a lot of maybe lessons that they've learned from this. Maybe it's been very challenging. Maybe it's been a very difficult to maintain connection between the two of you, right? They can also be like, if, if literally the third party is a karmic partner for them, which we can't really say that. We don't know, right? We don't know. Uh, if let's just say that person is, right? They do have a karmic relationship with that other person. They could also be thinking that, like I said, you are that temptation outside of that other connection that they have and the timing of which is not great for you guys, right? Maybe like if they met you at a different time in their life when they weren't connected to someone else, okay? We have locked, okay? So yeah, to me, it's like maybe this person feels, and also this strength card here too, it kind of looks like that heart is all like built up. And then we have this locked energy here too. So it's kind of like maybe this person feels like they cannot open their heart to you or that um, they're trying hard to resist, maybe even temptation, right? And, and not go for the connection. So let's see what 
are their feelings towards you, pile number two. We have the carnival here, which to me is like you guys going through cycles, right? Same situation over and over and over again. Nothing changing. Repetitive, right? Then we also have new chapter here, and it says a new chapter in your book of love is calling you for a fresh start. So they may be feeling like they need to get themselves out of this cycle of nothing happening, nothing changing, nothing moving forward and progressing. You know, it could be that they do, deep down inside, want to be a part of this connection, but feeling that they cannot at this time. We have birth here. And we have commitment, right? So their feelings are, like I said, they want commitment. Maybe they want some type of new beginning. They want the opportunity there. But maybe they feel like they're also stuck in that cycle with if that person is a karmic partner for them, right? So let's look down here at their intentions towards you. Pile number two. What are their intentions towards you? We have rejection, okay? Declining you, turning you down, or even dismissal of that opportunity, right? So they may want to, but what are they actually doing about it, right? Choosing to reject, choosing to push it away. What are their intentions towards you? We have date. And then we have shifting, change of perspective, their attitude or the outlook. We have shame, okay? Guilty conscience and conscious and remorse. Guilty conscious and remorse. And then we have needing time, okay? It says time to heal, progressing. I am seeing boundaries at the bottom. It says at the bottom, it says enough, learn to say no, and also drawing the line. Okay, so ultimately to me, it's like this person is choosing as their intention right now not to take any action towards you. Okay, they may have guilty conscience, like if they've rejected you or pushed you away, they could feel bad for doing so. But the guilt can also be hitting them like if they are someone who's cheating, say like on their partner, right, they may want to date you and connect with you. But feeling that they need to learn to say no to that temptation, right? Even though they may want to have a future with you, they're not prepared to take action towards that, right? They may feel like they need time to really have that shift in perspective to see what ultimately they're going to do. But for the time being right now, this energy is showing this person is not really taking any action towards you, right? What are their intention towards you? We have the interlude here. It says a pause, taking a pause, right? Taking a break from the connection, the timing factor, maybe the timing being not great right now, right? We have a call. It says hearing from conversation, talking and unblocking. So maybe if they have you blocked right now, they could be wanting to talk to you or communicate. We have gossip here, petty, jealousy, and also envy. They may be also worried about that, right? We have single here, current status available. Okay, actually, let me put this over here. Maybe they feel like if things change in their situation and if they were single, you know, that they know that I still need to figure out my own stuff, right? Before I try to make promises to you, I if I'm if single is something that I need to be, right? So we have fired up here, fuming with rage, overwhelming, explosion of emotions, and also very angry, right? So for some of you, yes, there can be some conflict between the two of you, some tension, um, I'll say for some of you, if the third party knows about you, there could be a lot of drama, right? That this person is also trying to avoid. They could be upset. They could not be feeling happy, right? About the way that things are between the two of you. But yeah, to me, it's like taking a pause. This, the current status available with single is like this person may feel like they need that time to focus on themselves, right? They need time to focus on themselves. What are they doing? What's their decision? Um, here right now. Yeah. It, it just makes me feel like this person is not really taking any action towards you. Like there's no, 
there's no energy here of really making that commitment towards you. It's more so choosing to reject. You know, if dating at all, it could be maybe they are acting like they are single, right? But they're not really committing to you. They're, maybe for some of you, it could be stringing you along. Uh, not really showing you a solid energy of commitment here. Okay. So I'm going to clear this away. Like I said, you do not have to watch the whole third party portion of this reading um, unless you really want to. But like I said, if you're feeling too sensitive, you don't want to hear it, then you can just click off the video. But I am going to clear this away and we're going to get into what this person is feeling towards the third party, which is the other person that is involved in this situation. Okay, so let's see what your person is feeling towards the third party, which is the other person involved. Like I said, some of you technically may be the third party, but for the purpose of minimizing, or for the purpose of the reading and minimizing confusion, we're just going to call the other person the third party. So what is your person feeling? What are their feelings towards the third party? We have the eight of wands. What are their feelings towards the third party? Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. The Sun. Temperance. Okay, so their, their feelings towards the third party, to me, it's like this person is wanting to let go, detach if they haven't already, to really focus on themselves and happiness, right? This is kind of the clarity, the break that they've had is they want to take action towards this, communicating with this third party about leaving or letting go. Uh, but with the temperance energy here, to me, it's, yeah, look at that. We got death at the bottom. It's like uh, temperance is an energy of patient patience. Okay, so they may be feeling that I want this happiness. I want to feel happy by making this decision to end things, but I need to be patient about my approach, how I do things, right? Okay, so let's see, what are their intentions? What are their intentions towards the third party? I feel like, yeah, with the Eight of Cups here, it's like this person has already felt withdrawn emotionally from this person even though i feel like with the sun you know you can have certain things about this person or the connection they have with them that does bring joy or happiness into their life but to me that eight of cups is like this person your person wanting to focus on themselves right they may even be kind of like emotionally checked out of the relationship already let's see what are their intentions towards the third party We have the world and the four of pentacles. Interesting. It's like the intention here is to end things, but at the same time, we have the four of pentacles here, which is them settling. Okay. That's a fear of letting go. It's attachment that they have to this third party. There could be staying for financial reasons. We have the king of pentacles here, which is commitment, staying committed to this person. The hangman, it's like this person feels like they're kind of stuck in limbo here. Non-action. The hangman is a is a an energy of uh non-action. Okay? So to me, the way that I'm kind of seeing this is that your person's intentions towards the third party are that they are staying in this relationship. They're staying connected to this person. You know? the four of pentacles that they have a fear of loss, a fear of releasing this person, a fear of letting them go as much as they want to. Even in this world energy here, we're seeing kind of like this rabbit, which to me is that symbol of a new beginning. It's like in, it's stuck in a ball, right? It's stuck in a ball there. So it's like they're keeping this energy or this thought that they have about wanting to end things, but they're not doing anything about it. They're staying committed here to this person. Um, Maybe because they feel like that's logically the thing to do. Maybe because, if, like, let's just say there is a marriage. 
there's finances, there's, you know, property, children, things of that nature. To me, it's like they're, they're staying in this relationship. They may be working towards trying to change or shift their perspective and the way they, they look at it. And feeling like maybe that is the best decision for them to make is to stay in the relationship, stay in the connection. Okay. So yeah. And that kind of corresponds to what your person, like I said, is not really taking any action towards you to give you any security for a future with you. It's like, this is where they're at settling or not, because that's what this energy is. The four of pentacles is, is holding on to something. They were being attached to something. We fear letting it go. We fear losing it. So we kind of hold on tight, cling on to it right where we're at, whether it's something that is making us happy or not. You know, we, we hold on tight to it. So let's see. Uh, let's start off with the feelings first. What are their feelings towards the third party? We have enchantment. And we have open. To me, with that enchantment there, it's like this person is uh, new love. Or maybe this person is trying to find renewal. Fragile. Okay, maybe their connection is fragile. Maybe there's been something happening. Maybe they're trying to work on being more honest with this person about their feelings. We have fragile, so it almost makes me feel like maybe there's something in their connection happening or going on. Maybe they're trying to mend it, heal it, fix it. The enchantment here is almost like reminds me of your person being kind of almost like in an illusion, right? An illusion of love. They could be trying to heal or mend or work on their relationship or connection with uh, this person, right? Trying to bring about renewal within it. Or maybe for some of you, this third party is a new love interest of this person, right? Maybe they do feel enchanted by them. Maybe they feel very drawn into them. And maybe with that Eight of Cups energy here, this person walked away from you right to this person, right? If this is like a new person they chose, that can also be a situation here as well, right? And if that is the case, that Sun energy and the Temperance card could be that they feel that this person is... They feel love with them. They feel balanced with that person. Okay. So let's see. What are their feelings towards the third party? Chemistry with them. What are they feeling towards the third party? Their ego. Right? Maybe their ego is telling them that they need to stay or have to stay. We also have grief here and the one. Right? Maybe they feel like this person is the one for them. Okay. I want to see what that grief is. Why is pile number two this person feeling grief towards a third party? The five of cups. That is grief right there. Five of cups. Disappointment, sadness, pain, loss. But why? Maybe if they've had to let your connection go, right? The Hierophant. Okay. So the Hierophant can symbol a, a marriage, um, a serious commitment. Oh, some of you, even if this person had to, let's just say those of you that are in situations where culture, religion, family, arranged marriage type of situations that some of you could be in. They could even be feeling that this is the person they have to choose to be with. Right? Outside influence, aside from just the third party, maybe there's some something that is making them feel like this is where they have to be. Right? Okay, so let's look at what their intentions are towards the third party. We have a spark here, chemistry, attraction. We also have difference. Yeah, it just makes me feel like 
<sighs> we have clashing conflicts incompatibility that even though they may feel like this person may not necessarily be check all the boxes for them like they feel like this is where they have to stay okay what are their intentions towards the third party we have cautious here apprehensive guarded afraid and we have decisions here choices inconsistencies and also feeling conflicted okay it's because even though they feel chemistry they feel attraction towards this uh third party there could be some conflict that is happening between the two of them but they're thinking like i said with the king of swords the rational thing to do is head over heart what makes sense and like i said for some of you they could have financial ties with this person and feeling like maybe this is the best decision to stay right for financial reasons what is their intention towards the third party we have lost and it says ghosted blocked and also cut off what are their intentions we have observing here being watched social media stalking keeping an eye on you obsessed with you and also pain guarded apprehensive putting up a wall pain it just makes me feel like this person is staying here yeah we have side piece it says mistress flirting with others the other woman secret hookup so yeah it's like your person is is choosing not to i feel like take action towards with a third party of actually leaving that they're choosing to keep things as they are and if you are the mistress you are the other person that they're choosing to keep it just like that right they're not really doing anything to change this so again energy can change in the future nothing is set in stone things can always change or shift but yeah to me this energy that we've seen on both the third party side and also on your side is that your person is not taking any action towards leaving this person or taking any action towards you they're leaving it as the third party situation okay so i'm going to leave it here for you pile number two i hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading hi pile three so those of you that resonated with the paulina tarot and the caribbean uh calcite this is going to be your reading today and we're going to start off with asking about your third party situation what your person's feelings and intentions are towards you and then we're going to switch over to what your person's feelings are and intentions are towards the third party. You don't have to watch that part of the reading um, if you don't want to. So I will let you know when I'm going to switch over. I know for some of you it can be a little bit triggering. You don't really want to know what's going on with them. And that's perfectly okay. So let's see. Pile three. We're looking first what your person's feelings are towards you. I'm going to do that up here and then intentions down here at the bottom. So what are their feelings towards you, pile three? We have the two of crystals, which is the two of pentacles. We have the knight of feathers, knight of swords. What are their feelings towards you? strength what are their feelings towards you we have the six of shells which is the six of cups and then we also have the eight of crystals which is the eight of pentacles okay at what their intentions are towards you what are their intentions towards you pile three wow we have the empress what are their intentions towards you what are their intentions wow we have the lovers i feel like this is like the most uh I was going to say the most best, but <laughs> this is like the best energy out of the three of the piles. 
What are their intentions towards you? Pile three. Queen of acorns, which is the queen of wands. We have the seven of acorns, which is the seven of wands. What are their intentions? Yeah, I feel like you guys have the best pile, the best energy out of the three piles. So feelings, okay, feelings. We're starting up here. The two of pentacles energy is like this person, of course, because this is a third party situation, this person has to make a choice, right? The two of pentacles is about weighing your options, um, you know, trying to prioritize you, your heart, your feelings, their feelings and emotions, and try to bring balance into this connection. To me, the knight of swords energy here, the knight of feathers, is that this person is really trying to focus on taking some type of decisive action here. Their feelings are they're wanting to take action. They're wanting to speak up. They're wanting to say something to you. The strength energy to me is this person feeling desire. And maybe they're trying to find courage within themselves to be able to move forward with some type of action here, which I'm seeing down here at the bottom. We'll talk about that. Six of cups to me. As this person may feel that you are a soulmate, they may feel that there is a very strong bond and connection between the two of you. They may even consider you as someone who they look at as like their friend, like they're, uh, I feel like in a, in a loving way, like they feel that you guys have this bond with each other that you're not only romantically connected, but the feeling of like... The six of pen or the six of cups. It's like a very nostalgic, sweet, innocent, playful, nostalgic energy. So some of you could be that you have a long history with this person. It could even be that you guys have known each other since you guys were literally kids, children. Um, you could have dated each other for a long time, but it's just kind of like that feeling that you have like with your partner. Like this is my friend. This is this is what makes me feel happy. This is what makes me feel comfortable. Right with that six of cups. So it's definitely this feeling of joy, very giving, very sweet, very open. And with the eight of pentacles, to me, it's like your person is feeling that they want to put in some dedicated effort to allow this connection to progress into something further. Okay. Now with the intentions towards you, <clears throat> to me, the intention is to be with you, is to be in a committed, loving partnership with you. And this is why I feel like you have the best pile <laughs> Because the other piles are not like this. Um, so the Empress, the lovers, okay? To me, this is committed partnership. This is love, unconditional love. This is making a choice or decision from a place of the heart. Them trusting their heart, trusting their intuition to be with you, to have a partnership with you. This person feeling determined, right? To move, it, move and persevere beyond challenges, obstacles, the Queen of Wands energy is an energy of passion, of desire, of going. It's a, it's a very go-getter type of energy, going after what it is that you want, right? And they want you. They want to be with you. Um, and then we have the Four of Feathers here, which is the Four of Swords. So to me, it's like they may feel like they need to really take some time to think about things, right? And to put this plan into action. But yeah, I'm seeing that this is filled with action here. The Knight of Swords is the card of action, um, the eight of pentacles is, you know, really making something tangible within the 3d. So it's putting in dedicated effort into this relationship. Some of you that six of cups can symbolize a reconciliation. Like this person feeling is that they want to reconcile with you. The empress could be that this person is wanting some to create some type of new beginning, right? For commitment relationship, moving forward with that. And even though there could be challenges that are here, this person wanting to continue, challenges are not like I'm all in right but with that four of swords it's that need for clarity it's that need for time to think what's the plan here right so that's kind of what I'm seeing um <clears throat> let's look at your oracle what are their feelings towards you pile number three what are their feelings towards you wow we have player here 
What are their feelings towards you? We also have whole. Okay. So maybe for some of you, this could have been something that started off as friends with benefits or even maybe this person wasn't able to commit or settle down. But now it's kind of like this person has like almost like saying you have this person's whole heart. Okay. What are their feelings towards you? Fast. Okay. So yeah, that is movement. That is movement. That is progress. We have the crossroad here. Okay. So of course, having to make a choice, a decision. Look at that. We have the forgiveness here. Okay. And we have two little um, flamingos. But yeah, to me that looks like little sweet soulmate type of energy here. Maybe this person is wanting forgiveness from you. Maybe if they were not able to give you commitment previously, right? Maybe they were just playing games. But now it's like they're feeling that you really consume their very being, their heart, right? Let's see. What are their feelings towards you, pile number three? We have winds of change and it says improvement breezes into your love situation. All right, improvement with it. What are their feelings towards you? Perspective. We have broken heart, right? So it could be like if this person has broken your heart or they were only playing games or they were being a player with you or not really committing. It could be that they've had this change or this shift in perspective, maybe how it's been making you feel, hurting you. Um, they can also be someone too, who realizes like if you guys are separated or not together, not committed, that this is also something that hurts them as well, right? To not have you or to not be with you. What are their feelings? We have dead end, right? So maybe they felt like, you know, are things not going to be able to progress further than friendship or are we not going to be able to progress further into relationship? Okay. So let's look at their intentions now. What are their intentions towards pile number three? We have the mask. So it could be masking their feelings. What are their intentions? We have, wow, unveiling here. Look at that. Unexpected confessions and justification, right? So that could be really letting you know the feelings that they've had towards you opening up to you, talking about them. We have awakening here, realization and epiphany and understanding about your connection that you guys have with each other. We have separation and it's kind of coming out in reverse. And I almost feel like that makes sense because if you guys are separated right now with this person having an awakening or a realization and unveiling here, it's like this person is no longer masking their feelings ending this maybe separation between the two of you, right? Working beyond blockages. What are their intentions? We have cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need, and also progression and arriving, which I feel like the progression and arriving is what's making sense here because we're seeing the progression with the fast, right? The fast little car here, the Knight of Swords is action, right? Remember I was saying there's, there's action that's happening here. So to me, the part of this that makes sense for you guys is the progression and arriving. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Maybe they are cutting ties with the other person. Okay. What are their intentions towards you, pile three? Wow, look at that. Surprise here. It says unexpected ancient action, spontaneous showing up and unexpected change, right? We have improvement breezes into your love situation. Maybe surprising you unexpectedly. Look at that. We have a meeting here. Two or more people, discussions and planning. Yeah. So it's like planning a meetup with you. Look at that. A realization again. And a realization, right, of their feelings towards you. Uh, we also have triggers here flashbacks, trauma bond, inner childhood wounds, and also attracting toxic. Let's see what else. What are their intentions? That almost makes me feel like with this energy right here, we'll talk about that for a second. 
because one of these cards was talking about justifying, justification, okay? So the unveiling, justifying, I feel like almost like this, their actions here, right? And if this person is someone who has childhood wounds, trauma bonds with other people, they could be telling you why, unexpectedly confessing to you why, what has been holding them back? Why haven't they moved towards commitment with you? Why did they cut you off? Why did they block you? Why did they not, not move forward with this? So to me, it's like this person is talking to you, having some type of realization within them of the feelings and the emotions and the love this person has towards you, surprising you with action here. But yes, talking about the triggers, right? Working through this is kind of what I'm seeing. So I am going to move on to what they feel and intentions are towards the third party. Like I said, I kind of feel the intentions towards you or to make this work, right? To be with you, to be in a relationship with you. If you do not want to watch and care what they feel and think towards a third party, don't watch it. Okay. But I'm going to clear this away and then we're going to get into uh, that portion of the reading. Okay, so let's see what they are feeling towards the third party. Pile three. Same thing, feelings, intentions. <clears throat> what are their feelings towards the third party? Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Feathers, which is the Eight of Swords. We have Strength again. It's funny, it's the same placement too, right? The third card. What are their feelings towards the third party? The Nine of Wands in Reverse. Hierophant, which is the shaman in this deck. Interesting. I want to clarify this Eight of Swords here. Okay, the Eight of Swords is a very restrictive energy. We're, we're thinking negative thoughts that are keeping us stuck and captive. Um, unable to move forward with something. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Wands which to me is action, some kind of action, some kind of communication that they're wanting to have towards the third party. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The King of Pentacles. It's like this person is wanting to talk or communicate about their commitment to this person. Okay. Their commitment to this person. Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like they feel powerless in this situation. Uh, feeling sad, I feel like. Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse? Two of Feathers. This is the Two of Swords. This is your person feeling stuck, confused, Unable to make a decision about this person. For some of you, this person is in a serious commitment with them. The King of Pentacles. And I feel like your person is wanting some type of new beginning. But I feel like afraid to tell this person. Trying to find the courage within themselves. Some of you, this person is struggling with their belief systems. Their beliefs. Um, some of you, this person could even be married to this other person. Why is the Nine of Wands in reverse? The Hermit. Yeah, it's like this person feels alone, I will say. Lonely in this connection. Um, they may be very withdrawn from this person already. And feeling very confused about what decision to really make with this situation, with this person. Okay. 
Let's see, what are their intentions towards the third party? What are their intentions towards the third party? The hangman. This is an energy of limbo, feeling stuck. The empress. Yeah, some of you may be, this person could be married to this person. What are their intentions? The fool, which is freedom. It is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. What are their intentions towards the third party? The Ace of Wands. We have the Star. And then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely for some of you a marriage that's here. We've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. It almost, I, I'm not saying, okay, I will say this. With the intentions towards the third party, I'm not clearly seeing that this is, I'm leaving. I'm, you know, I'm letting go. But I am seeing this energy here of the fool, which is that wanting, that need for freedom, potential, possibilities, a new beginning. But in some way with the hangman energy here, it's like your person is trying to really gain some perspective on this. Like, is it, should this really be something I should let go? Because part of them is feeling, I want this new beginning. I want this new start. But part of them also feels like, can I reignite something within this connection to try to bring back, let's just say the passion or the desire towards one another. Can I fix this? Can I try to heal this? You know, this connection here. Uh, so let me see. Let's clarify this full energy. Why is the full here? Why is the fool here? The queen of swords in reverse. It's like this person's judgment is clouded right now. They're not in a cl in the clearest headspace. And I feel like it's because of this eight of swords. Okay. The eight of swords, this little keywords here says courage and solutions. And if you can't find courage and solutions through that eight of swords energy, because you're in a negative headspace, right? You're thinking self-sabotaging thoughts. So to me, this Queen of Swords in reverse is like your person doesn't have the clear headspace type of energy. They're like their judgment is clouded at this time, right? They haven't taken any action yet, I feel like, towards changing what the circumstances are here with this person, right? They may even be trying to stay optimistic about things like maybe we could heal this, maybe we can make this relationship work and last and try to reignite things between the two of us, right? Um, like trying to, in a way, give the connection the benefit of the doubt, you know, trying to perceive it from a different perspective to say, okay, maybe we can fix it. Maybe we can continue to build this. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles. It's like very slow moving energy here. Very slow moving. Five of Pentacles, okay? So the Five of Pentacles is an energy of abandonment, of, of loss, um, emptiness, void. Let's see what this Ace of Wands energy is. The Emperor. So we have the Empress and the Emperor. Like I said, for some of you, it is this person is married to this person or in a serious committed relationship. <clears throat> Let's see what this hangman energy is here. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like this person is trying to like hang in there with this person. They may feel, you know, not completely, I feel like, hmm, I feel like they do love this person, okay? I feel like they do they do have feelings towards them. It's just a little a little tricky here. Let's look at this 5 of pentacles. Ten of swords and the 6 of swords. Okay, yeah. So the intention is to 
move on from this relationship. Okay. Ten of swords is an ending. Six of swords is literally moving on, transitioning away from this. But because our queen of swords is in reverse, to me, it's like your person may not trust. They may not trust what their intuition is telling them. They may not trust themselves to make this decision. They feel like they have to be very cautious about it, very careful in their planning. Right? But yeah, I feel like ultimately they're wanting to let go of the relationship, but also trying to give, I feel like, the connection, the benefit of the doubt and say, okay, can we fix this? Is, it, is this salvageable, right? Is, is it worth it for us to continue? Or should I really kind of go with what my gut is telling me and move on from this uh, relationship? Okay, so let's look at... Uh, Let's look at their feelings first. I almost forgot to do that. Feelings at the top. What are their feelings towards a third party? Wings of love. It says love is transforming you either by flying in or out. We have chemistry, right? With the third party. What are their feelings towards the third party? Self-love. We have rendezvous. It says, have faith and believe a meeting between you two will take place. And admire. Yeah, so like I said, I do feel like uh, your person does have feelings for this person, right? It could even be that this love is something that has helped to transform them. Maybe it's taught them to learn to love themselves more. You know, um, actually not this one yet. Let's go into this one. What are their feelings? We have protection here. What are their feelings towards the third party? We have player. Okay. So yeah, that would be obvious, right? If this person is involved with you, there is that player energy here. We have words and connection with love. What are they feeling towards a third party? We also have the crush. So it's almost like this person suppressing. We have the crossroad at the bottom, right? This person having feelings for the two of you. Okay, is what I'm seeing there. Maybe they feel like they're also, I don't know, protecting their heart. They feel sheltered, I feel like, even too, because we have the hermit energy there too. Maybe this person feels sheltered away or in some way kind of withdrawn. Okay, so let's look at what this person's intentions are towards the third party. What are their intentions towards the third party? Triggers, look at that. Flashbacks, trauma bond, inner childhood wounds, attracting toxic, right? This was something that came out for you too. Okay, maybe this connection is something that does trigger them, but maybe it's triggering them, you know, anytime we're, tr we're, we're triggered. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's another person saying things, something to us, if we're feeling triggered, let's just say by a pick a card reading, that is an indication that there is something within us that we need to look at. We need to heal it. We need to find out why am I, why is this triggering me? Why am I feeling that way? Right? It's a, it's a kind of signifying a, a deeper issue that needs to be addressed within the self. So to me, this trigger here, maybe that this connection, maybe they are trauma bonded to this person, or they could have some inner childhood wounds that are really been coming up for this person to really heal in this relationship. Okay. So what are their intentions towards the third party? We have come together here, reconciliation, spiritual union, and a soul contract. Okay. Like I said, they be, could be trying to really make this connection work with this person, right? We have reflection here, dark night of the soul, dark shadow, facing their inner truth, seeing true colors. Maybe this person could be reflecting back a lot of things that they need to heal, right? We also have focused here, eyes for you, fascinated and also watching. And then we have pursuit here. Okay, chasing, persistence, hunting down, and also resilient. So, yeah, to me, it's, it's like, like I said, this person is trying to continue on with this person. Uh, 
because their judgment is still clouded, right? Maybe they are, there's a lot of toxicity that's kind of happening here between them and this person. And maybe they are, I don't know, trauma bonded to this person. Okay. Maybe it is reflecting a lot of things they do need to heal. Maybe there is attachment that they have towards this person, you know, really putting an effort towards that. Let's see what else. What are their intentions towards the third party? We have the runner. Okay. Fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, and then letting go. And then also turmoil and fleeting. What are their intentions towards the third party? Denial. Wow. It says refusing to admit, downplaying something, or even the blame game. Right? In denial over something with this third party. We also have a long journey. And it says feeling depleted, exhausted, and also fatigued. Right? So maybe that's what they're in denial about. Maybe they're trauma bonded to this person. Or they feel like they need to stay with this person. You know? Even through, it almost feels like this person has gone through maybe a lot for some of you with this person. We have broken hearted here, damaged, shattered, destroyed. And then we also have the connection here. Okay. It says unity, deep love, and soulmate. Um, yeah. So it feels almost like a lot of, um, a lot the two of them have really gone through together. And maybe this is, you know, I don't want to say, but maybe for, for some, this, this relationship that they have with this person is very toxic, right? Maybe a toxic situation that they're keeping themselves stuck in. And maybe this person is in denial and not seeing it clearly, right? We have the queen of swords in reverse. That is clouded. Okay. Maybe their judgment is clouded with this person. Maybe they feel like, oh, this is love. This is where I need to stay. Um, yeah, that's kind of what this, this is giving to me. So it makes me feel like, you know, if this is a partnership that they have to really grow through, or they have to recognize maybe and not be, keep themselves blinded to it or in denial. If this is really a relationship that they really want to continue to stay in. Right. But I feel like looking at the intentions the person has towards you is that wanting to be with you. Wanting to have a relationship. Maybe this is a connection they find hard for them to break away from that they continue to go back to. Or maybe this is a connection that kind of brings up a lot of wounds for them that they are, are needing to heal. And maybe this is part of their journey. This is something that is necessary for them, you know, in order to grow and evolve even as a, as a soul, right? Every person that we meet in our life is teaching us something or we're teaching them something. There's always a purpose, even if it's unpleasant process that we have to go through we're learning something from it okay about ourself about others connections uh things of that nature okay so i'm gonna leave it here for you pile number three i hope this was helpful for you guys and i will see you in the next reading